man, I wish this. I wish Thursday night games were better. <laughs> I'm watching this here today. I'm just like, gosh, we cannot, for the life of us, get good Thursday night games. Oh, every single week. And this last week, Packers Niners was bad. This one, it started off. I was like, all right, maybe Colts and Titans are fighting it out. Maybe this will be competitive. And nope, <laughs> Tennessee uh, gets blown out here late. T Titans make a couple big mistakes, and the Colts capitalize it. Capitalize on it. Pounce on it. Uh, best all-around game probably we've seen from the Colts this year. They're Ben, but don't break defense. Who I saw somebody put it that way, and that's the best way to put it here. Um, shutting down Tennessee. Alvin's get some nice moments here. Rivers had a solid game. Hines uh, filling in for Jonathan Taylor, uh, getting a couple touchdowns there. And the Colts went at 34-17, their sixth win of the NFL season. They go to uh, both teams on the same record. Yeah, the Colts go to six and three. The Titans go to six and three on the NFL season here in Week Ten. What's up, Grim Phoenix? Good to see you, my man. Um, I was personally, just personally here, guys, um, it had been a rough week for me. Not anything, like, I'm fine. Uh, Jared, good to see you. But it had been a rough week in terms of, I've been doing a lot of school. It's been very busy. It's been very, it's been very draining for me. My classes have been really difficult. So I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm glad. I was able to finish all of it today. I'm like, all right, now I just get to sit back and watch a football game. And maybe it'll be good. And again, unfortunately, it was, it was, it was good at the beginning. Like, it was good at the beginning. Uh, what a game for the Colts. Yes, the game was kind of boring. Yeah, exactly. It was kind of boring. Early on. First of all, I don't feel like Colts Titans has that just sexiness. I will say it doesn't have that big name. These are two teams that are both good, decent, but none, I don't think either one of these teams. I'll say this right now, and I know the Titans were in the AFC Championship game last year, but I don't feel like these are two teams that are going to be competing for the AFC title this year. I just feel like there's other uh, talented teams there with the Chiefs, with the Steelers, with the Ravens. And I know I'm forgetting somebody there. Uh, did I get the big ones? Um, yeah, oh, yeah, I got the big three: Chiefs, Steelers, and Ravens. Like those are the big three in the AFC. I don't. We feel like these are two teams like on the outside looking in right now. Like, those teams that are like, okay, you got the Bills, you got the, you know, you know, we got the, again, both these teams are in there, along with the Bills. They're like in that second tier of AFC teams. So it just, it, it wasn't really a a game that you were just sitting there going, man, I can't wait to watch this. But it was one of the best Thursday night games we've gotten this season in terms of appeal, which is sad considering just, you know, that, that just shows how awful Thursday night football is. But looking into this game, I was looking forward to it. And again, it just, a big thing for Tennessee here was, I, I expected Tennessee to win. I think Tennessee was the favorite going in. I think the Titans were two-point favorites. Um, they won up, uh, started off, Titans were two-point favorites, and then it went to, uh, Colts won. Okay, so Titans were two-point favorites on, on Tuesday, and it became Colts one-point favorites here on Thursday. People were buying into the Colts. Um, I told you the Colts came a little upset, although it's, it's kind of, it's kind of a boring game. Yes. Um, but I was, in you were right, Grim Phoenix, about this. Um, I just thought that maybe Tennessee was going to be able to pull something out with their offense, uh, with, um... With uh, you know, with Tannehill and Henry, that maybe they'd be able to uh, to punch Tennessee's uh, Indianapolis's defense in the mouth, and they weren't really able to do that. And again, early on in this game, they did. Colts won. Colts did win. But I was expecting more from Tennessee. I wasn't expecting Tennessee to roll over like this. I wasn't expecting Tennessee to keep making the mistakes they did. And Tennessee made a lot of mistakes in this game. Uh, again, between the bad punt, between the um, between the missed field goal by Goskowski, who I, I'm seeing a lot of people on Twitter wanting to get rid of Goskowski. What is that? Six missed field goals. How did the Colts do that? Um, just, again, capitalize. Uh, thoughts on Prozac. Whatever. Um, how did the Colts do that? Um, they just, again, they, they, were, they, they played better than Tennessee. Tennessee made a lot of mistakes. Tennessee didn't have any turnovers in this game. But, again, with the, with the bad punt, with the missed field goal, with the blocked punt, the block punt, that was the biggest moment of the game was the blocked punt right there. Because it was, uh, you know, and they're showing it right now on the screen, because this was a three-point Indianapolis lead in the third quarter. And, and that was the biggest stretch of the game there in the third quarter because – um, it, it all changed in about a couple minutes. I, I want to pull that up there because it was thir it was seventeen thirteen Tennessee. Tennessee's got the game. Um, they got the lead right now, and then and then it becomes after Indianapolis uh, gets stopped on downs. Um, and, and, and after Indianapolis gets stopped on fourth and one. Um, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. After Tennessee punted, excuse me. After Tennessee punted, um, Indianapolis has got the ball with four minutes to go here in the third quarter. And again, it's the bad punt by Daniels. So they have the ball at their own twenty seven. Um, I'm sorry, Tennessee's 27. So then Hines goes four yards, Pittman 21 yards, um, and then it's um, incompletion, and then Hines puts a touchdown to make it, seven, to make it 2017. And then Tennessee goes three and out. They, they try to kick the punt away. It gets blocked. They return it back for a touchdown. So in those, that was the stretch in this game. It was those two and a half minutes. Um, it was those two and a half minutes between the bad punt. That all that it took place the four the bad punt took place with four and eleven oh four eleven left in the third quarter and it ended with a minute and the 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 block punt touchdown ended with a minute fifty seven in the third quarter so those two and a half minutes changed the entire complexity of the game Indianapolis took complete control from there Tennessee was never able to recover from that they were never able to rebound 
Um, I enjoyed this game while I had a leftover crispy fish for dinner. Well, I, I, that crispy fish was better than this game, I hope. Um, but that, that's what led to this. But again, those, those couple of mistakes, punting, then you had the missed field goal early. Um, well, I think it was later. I think it was earlier in the game. It was those moments in this game that led to Tennessee blowing this year. And I've, for the general, I thought Tennessee's been a good team. Uh, obviously, they were much, I feel like, last year they weren't a great team, but they got hot late. Um, and that's why, because Derrick Henry was out of his mind at the end of the season. And so, if you're Indianapolis here, you're going to need, uh, if, or sorry, if you're Tennessee here, you got to hope that he'll be, he'll be able to show up. The team, Tennessee's fine, solid team, but yeah, today, today was not their best performance. There. Again, those mistakes early, uh, or those mistakes in the third quarter were just crushing, gutting. If you're a team like this, you've got to be able, and then they missed the, a fourth down conversion later in the game. It's just like, you got, you got can't make mistakes in this, in this NFL. In this NFL, we can't make mistakes. Uh, and, and Tennessee just made a couple crucial ones there late, and which led to Indianapolis getting the win. Indianapolis, I know people are mixed on Indianapolis. Um, again, I don't think they're a tier one team. I know the Colts can be grouped together and suddenly pay off. Um, yeah, uh, we saw we saw here tonight. The thing with the Colts, were there fans in the stands tonight? Um, were there fans? In, I, I think there were. I think there were fans. Yeah, I think there were fans in the stands tonight. Whatever. I, I don't keep track of what fans are in the stands anymore. It's just they're, they're yeah. The Josh Allen revenge tour is in full swing. It is, and Josh Allen has been great this season. But with Indianapolis. People are wondering, is this team legit? Look, you can only beat who you can go up against. And give the Colts credit that they beat whoever it is, even though their schedule has not been great so far. Let's go through Indianapolis' schedule. It has not been the dominating schedule we've expected out of Indianapolis. Or it has not been like, wow, those are you know elite teams here. They lost to Jacksonville week one. Then they beat Minnesota. Whatever. Beat the Jets. I mean, that's nothing. Beat the Bears. Okay. I'll do a solid. Um, lost to the Browns. Beat the Bengals. Fine, I guess. Um... I like Burrow, but the rest of the team around him just isn't that great. And then they beat the Lions. And uh, now they beat Tennessee here. So there isn't really, I guess maybe it's the Bears. There isn't, there hasn't been that one win that you're like, wow. Even the Bears win, I can't even say, wow, that's amazing. Now they could have one next week, uh, or in two weeks, because they have a bye. And then in two weeks, um, actually, no, no, next week's not a bye. Okay, so, so next week they play Green Bay. Uh, and that's a big game. Colts Packers, Rivers versus Rodgers. Green Bay has been excellent on offense this season. Aaron Rodgers having. Another fantastic season, an MVP contender season. Um, not MV, uh, He's not the favorite right now for MVP, but he's certainly somebody who is definitely in the conversation, the way he has been playing uh, as of late. Um, so, it, is he the favorite right now? Uh, no, okay, that, 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 those odds are in there. But he's certainly been a contender. If the Colts can beat Green Bay, if the Colts can beat Green Bay the way Green Bay has been playing on offense, and now last week they tore apart San Francisco, but even though San Francisco is not good, they still tore them apart. Um, if, if you can beat Green Bay there, then that's a sign of like, okay, this team, this team might be for real. But right now, I don't know how I feel about, I mean, what is the line right now? Is there a line right now for Green Bay, Tennessee? Um, or, or Green Bay, Indianapolis? Um, yeah, right now, the, right now the Packers are a point and a half favorite, which I think is fair. Um, I think it might, it might move up a point. I mean, because Indianapolis' defense has been able to shut down whoever it is. Not, they have not played a lot of great offenses, but they are right now one of the top ranked defenses in the league. Um, again, you can only be who you've been playing against, and that's what they mean. Um, Elf or Nightmare on Elm Street? Oh, Elf. If Nightmare on Elm Street's a good movie, but like, Elf is one of my favorites. I'm in a store, and I'm singing! Thoughts of Borat 2. Again, I haven't seen it yet. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to see it for a while, just because, again, I'm very busy. Heard it's, heard it's really good. Heard it sounds good as the first one, but I hear it's really good. Um, Bills could defeat the Colts. They could. Uh, I think the Bills are probably a better team than the Colts. So I, I think the Bills should beat the Colts, and I think they will beat the Colts. Going forward here, um, but okay. Indianapolis. If we want to see this team be elite, if, if we want to see them make that next step, because they've got the record right now. Even if you can sit there and go, all right, they haven't been a lot of good teams. They they beat it. They, they beat the teams that they faced against. And now, if they can beat Green Bay next week, if they can beat Green Bay next Green Bay next week. That is the best sign, the biggest sign that this team is great. Um, Ranch, we're not doing politics on here, please. You know the drill by now. Um, overall, though, this was another just. Game. I, I was expecting more. I, I was, I, again, both teams are solid. I guess they're fine. I guess uh, no, no, they're, they're good teams. Uh, I'm sorry, but I was I, I was expecting more. I was expecting a little bit closer competitive game here, and Indianapolis really put it, pulled it through. And Tennessee was again for two and a half quarters. Tennessee was right in this game. They were leading. They played better, uh, but those those crucial mistakes there late. Um, just completely crippled this team, and then they were never able to respond. They were never able to get it back in the fourth quarter. They were just they were shut out after that. They were like traumatized after that. So bad job. Uh, MVP and Cy Young, I thought they got it right. Congrats to Freddie Freeman and Jose Abreu. 
No complaints there. Congrats. And then the Cy Youngs. Uh, congrats to all you guys on, um, on the awards there. So good job. Good job by baseball. Can't wait for the Steelers versus Bills game. That'll be a fun game. That'll be good. I'm uh, looking forward to it. Maybe, this, maybe the Steelers will be the first team to... Maybe the Bills will be the first team to beat the Steelers. But overall, nice game here. Um, for, for Indianapolis, anyway. Not a great game for us, but a nice game for Indianapolis. Uh, if you guys want to... Uh, if you guys like what you see here, make sure you subscribe down below for more content just like this every single day. Or week. Day, week, whatever. As we talk all about what's going on in the world of sports. Um, we'll be back. Our next video is going to be on Sunday. Sunday, we will have a live reaction to the final round of the Masters. That will be tomorrow, or that will be Sunday. We'll have a full reaction the entire day. We'll have a, um, we'll have a couple of Masters. We have a couple of Masters videos that are going to come out Sunday. So that's going to be fun as we uh, get ready to crown a new Masters champion. We'll have an NFL Week 10 recap on Sunday as well. And uh, a couple other things that we've uh, got right now. I thought Mike Graham was retiring again. He's talking about going on CNN now. Um, whatever. I think he's just retired from the fan. He's not retired like retired. And he, he can never stay away because Mike Graham's also, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Um, but... Yeah, so if, if you guys like what this channel is, if you, if you guys like this so far, um, don't have a lot of viewers right now, unfortunately. What's up, Niso? It's good to see you. But if you guys like what, what we've been doing here on this channel, if you, if you, if you enjoy the content that we have, make sure you subscribe uh, again down below for more content every single week on everything going on in the world of sports and a couple of great videos that we've got uh, working on right now. So uh, we're, we're, we're growing every day here. We are climbing to 6,000, and that is thanks to you guys and your support. So uh, first of all, while I uh, before I get going here, let me just... Uh, Change the channel. Okay, great. Time for Thursday night game ball. Pope Rivers, Hines, Colts defense, the Titans, Turner, Trevor Daniel. Yeah, Rivers was good today. Rivers was solid. I mean, maybe that's the other reason why people can't get invested in the Colts because it's Pope Rivers. Uh, but Rivers was solid today. Rivers was good. Hines had his happy birthday to Hines, uh, scoring two touchdowns like that. Colts defense was shut down. And yeah, Trevor Daniels. Uh, I, I can't blame him for the missed punt, but I can't I, I can't blame him for the block punt, but I can't blame him for the missed punt. That was the, the killer. Larry Fitzgerald also was a part Bills fan as a kid. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, we all like Larry Fitzgerald. We all respect Larry Fitzgerald. Great player, great guy. Uh, reports, Raptors could play in Tampa, Florida if they can't play in Canada. Oh, that's fine. But obviously Canada's trying to take this, this COVID seriously. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and hangs with former Legends of the Bells. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, Jim Kelly, Thurman Thomas. Um, you know, the, the whole the whole shebang. Everybody that was in the uh, Four Falls of Buffalo documentary. I think this proves the Colts defense is legit. I was reading on Twitter. I was trying to get a, a grasp of what people think on social media. And some people think Colts defense is legit, and the others think, all right, this is not, they've not beaten great teams. I think Tennessee probably is the best team they've beaten so far. Um, and the Bears, again, those are probably two. So, so yeah, I, I, I don't know how people, I, I think the Colts defense is good. But we're going to get a good show. We're going to get a great show. We're going to get a great idea of how good this Colts defense is next week against uh, Green Bay. Against that offense, against Rodgers, we're going to get a... Good. And all those, all those guys with Jones and Adams, we're gonna get a good idea of how good they are and how, and if they're if they're able to shut down Green Bay. If they can shut them down, then we're gonna be like, okay, this is a legit defense and, and something to be worried about. <coughs> oh gosh, <coughs> water went down the wrong way. Um, overall though, I mean, like, I think we know Miami's defense. Miami's defense is legit because I feel like Miami has taken on tougher opponents. Indianapolis's defense has not taken on tougher or tougher opponents, in my opinion. Um, and I think, again, if you look at the winning percentage uh, between the Dolphins and both, I feel like the Dolphins, I feel like it would be a little bit higher. But, oh, man. Uh, because, again, again, if you guys have any questions, any comments, uh, please let me know here. As uh, we are now in week 10 of the NFL. Call time Packers, I want to see that one. That is, that, and that, that'll be next Sunday. That'll be next Sunday. I don't know about you, but I like Vince Vaughn. Yeah, who do, I like him too. Solid actor. I mean, you know, double down Trent. You know, I mean, come on. Um, I mean, come on. Wedding Crashers. Yeah, Vince Vaughn's good. Hi, I'm Frankie. I'm glad I caught one of your watchers. Thank you, Will Travel, and thank you for the donation. I really do appreciate that. Um, that, that that is so cool. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining me on one of these live streams. After every big NFL game, we're here, and then on uh, recaps and everything. So this has already been a successful live stream. Thank you, Will Travel. I, I I really do appreciate that. Uh, Dojo hype. Um. Yo, donation. Thank you, traveler. She's a traveler. Um, wait, dojo hype. I'm trying to see what that means. What does that mean? Like dojo? I'm, I'm sure you. I don't know. Some some of these things I don't understand on social media. Like I don't. Like, I don't know what that means. Um, is it is it hype for like Karate Kid season three? What is that show called again? Cobra Kai. Is that because Cobra Kai? I guess takes place in a dojo. I don't know. I've not seen Cobra Kai yet. I hear it's amazing, but I've not seen it yet. Uh, I'm a baseball girl, so go Texans. 
Uh, unfortunately, there's no, and there's not going to be any baseball shows here for a while. Unfortunately, um, don't know. Oh, okay, don't know. Okay, got it. Um, the yeah, unfortunately, no baseball stuff here for a while. Oh, don't know hypes the video. Game. Okay, fine. Twitch emote. Okay, T Springs shirt. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll be, we'll be covering baseball in, the, in March. I can't wait for, I'm already, I can't wait for spring because I think A, by spring, COVID will start to go down because I think that vaccine will come in handy. And two, because baseball. And because three, because that means this awful year is almost over. We're almost there, guys. We're a month and a half away. We can do this. We're getting to the finish line. We're getting to the finish line of a marathon where we are right now being pelted with bullets. Oh, gosh, it's, yeah, it's brutal. It's a brutal year, but yeah, we're, we're making it through right now. Uh, but yeah, go Texans. Um, Texans, have, it's been a bad year. It's been a bad, bad year for Houston. Um, love Deshaun Watson. Unfortunately, the team around him um, is just, is, yeah, it's a disaster. Angels got their new GM. I have no hope. Yeah, if you're an Angels fan, just like, please, for once, can we get a good GM? Frankie, my brother's girlfriend's sister likes me, but she had a boyfriend. Is that a bad situation she can get involved in? My brother's girlfriend's, she has a boyfriend. Um, I don't know, dude. I, I just try to stay away from those kind of things. Do you do fantasy? If you do, what do you have? Um, I do not do fantasy football. Um, I, 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 I should. I, I, I would, I, it would be nice, but I, I, it takes up too much of my time. And I, you know, I, I just, I'm very busy with all these things. I don't know how much, I don't know if I'd be good at it. Um, it, it does sound like a lot of fun. I, I do keep track of a lot of fantasy, but yeah, in terms of that, no, I, I don't do it, unfortunately. Not yet. No people say that when a good amount comes in. No people say that when a good amount, oh! Oh, don't know. I'm a good amount comes again. Well, any amount is appreciated. Any amount, like it could be, it could be a penny, and I'm like, thank you. Like, the, the fact that you would think that much of me that you would donate a penny is cool. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll get through this together when we get to the finish line. Yes, this will be. <laughs> this is like yes, 2021. Uh, and I, I'm starting to think 2021 will be better. If we're not in civil war, then 2021 will be better because we'll have the vaccine and things will start to calm down. I think, I think, but no promises. Uh, sounds like trouble. Yes, it does. It does, yeah. I don't. I don't think I've had a situation like that. It's a weird situation. It's just, you know, just some some of those things. Gosh. Um, trying to think what else here to really cover. Again, again we covered the big. We covered the big. The, 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 the big turning points of the game. The, the the two. The two punts is what's gonna be. Is what turned it around for the Colts. And the Colts just being able to shut down. Yeah, Rivers special teams guides Colts to road win versus uh, t Titans. So again, that, that's what covered it there. Phil Rivers was solid, and the and the you know, special teams was good enough. That's what that's what carried the team to um to a victory. And yeah, River, Rivers was good, and we get on Philip Rivers. But yeah, he's been fine so far. I, again, I expect one of these games we're gonna see like four turnovers from him. We're gonna see like that. We're gonna see those games where he just like he, he where they're down eight. It's it's uh, thirty seconds ago, and he has to drive the length of the field. I just want this nightmare over. Hopefully soon. I hope so, Mikey. I don't even want to think about COVID. No, I, I get you. I get you. But it's always in the back of my mind. It's always just you know. Until it ends. No, you would. You know a lot about uh, football news. I yeah. No, thank you, Jennifer. By the way, I think it's a hello, uh, Jennifer. Um, and again, Brent, uh, Rob, all you guys. Um, Grim Phoenix. Um, uh, it's just again. I do know a lot. It's just I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't have like I wouldn't have confidence. Like oh, I go with this guy. Go with this guy. I don't know. And again, it's just too busy. I don't know what people expect to happen on New Year's. COVID isn't going away, and most people, yeah, people are gonna go out on New Year's, and I really don't get it. I, I'm not. I'm gonna stay home. I, I stay home most New Year's anyway. But like that's especially when I'm like, oh, why? Just no. I know, man. The thing is, I had a huge question for years, and she was running and pretty for last month. But then again, so long for it. It's a weird situation for sure. Dude, the situations you get yourself in are just, with all due respect, kind of strange. Uh, you always have like, hey, dude, I have this, this, and but hey, uh, your, your, your life's interesting. Um, but yeah, you you, you got to figure that out, brother. You got you got to figure all that out. Um, I have to. I have to make sure I, I try to keep this on sports because if not, my mom will come downstairs and just scream, "Frankie, why, why, why is it not about sports?" Mom, we have fun. Um, no, but yeah, no, we, we have we, we have a lot of fun here on this uh, on this channel. But yeah, week ten here in the NFL. I'm trying to think again. Yeah, uh, congrats to Freddie Freeman. And congrats to um, what? Uh, and congrats to Jose Abreu on winning the MVPs. Um, trying to think. Um, Ivy League cancels Winter Sports 2020-2021, which. I know, what a weird life. I've been in isolation since March. Ah, that's awful. It's awful. We we were, I was in quarantine for like March to June because that's the New Jersey. That was when New Jersey had the stay at home order. Um, the stay at home. Yeah, the stay at home. They haven't had to go back to that yet. And I don't think, I think they might go back to that, the, the stay at home order. I don't want to, but they may, they may have to do that uh, here because the cases are rising. Thankfully here in New Jersey, at least in New Jersey, it's getting more contagious, but less deadly. 
And I'm, I'm happy with that. I'll take that. Um, but I would prefer it to not be here at all. But if, if, if it's going to be here, let it be less deadly. Um, it's not, I don't know if that's the way in, in all states, but at least here in New Jersey. By the way, I'm a girl, not a man. Uh, uh, isn't that a song? Feels like, uh, Frankie, 10 out of 10 life advice. Oh, no, my life advice is awful. No, you don't want to take life advice from me. Uh, now, now time for a little celebration. Post my dad brought me some Jack in the Box for dinner after I just said, oh, oh, man, pray for me. But not, not to worry, I'm not full yet. Okay, hey, yeah, whatever. I should get one be the show 21 to rebuild the Mariners and uh, give them a World Series. Yeah, that'd, that'd be nice. Give, give the Yankees a World Series, my man. Come on. G give me something. I agree, and you live. Exactly. <laughs> Oh boy, and yeah, I made it through. I don't know how I made it through, but I did. I, I never see that one coming. No. Um. Oh, shout out to the new PlayStation Five. I don't know if any of you got that today. I didn't. Um. Haven't bought any new. I bought the PlayStation Four when it came out. And I haven't bought the PS Five. I'm looking forward to maybe one day getting it. But right now, again, life is just, just the stuff that I'm the stuff that I'm working on right now is just it's just too much. Um. But yeah. So we got the other week ten games here. Maybe I should maybe I should go through them those here as we. Cover that. Because, yeah, Colts beat in Tennessee. And, again, we will have a Week 10 NFL recap. It will not be a live. I mean, we're not going to do an NFL live stream on Sunday because we're going to save that for the Masters. And please come in, by the way, for the Masters live stream that we're going to do. That, that'll be Sunday. And I think about 10 o'clock we're going to have the Masters live stream. That'll be a lot of fun. Uh, it's going to be five hours. So I'm going to need you guys to come in. Sorry. I, I don't want to bother you guys. But if, if you can, please come in because it, it's a lot of fun. We talked for five hours about the Masters. And it's great. It's it's it, 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 last year's Masters live stream was one of the biggest videos I've ever did. Um, so, so yeah, I would. You know, it, it'd be great if you guys could come in and uh, and uh, join me there. Uh, yeah, there's more to the story, but I don't want to harp here. No, that, that, that that's fair. <laughs> I, I get you, man. Uh, you know, you don't have to spill everything. But on uh, Sunday we get. Um, I'm trying to think of great games that we're getting. Um, we're getting. Um, we're getting no. Um, Gosh, I'm looking for games with two teams above 500, and it's not till 4 o'clock. By the way, no CBS 1 o'clock games because of the Masters, but we get Bills Cardinals. That's an interesting game. That's a good game. Seahawks Rams, that should be good. Uh, and we get Ravens Patriots um, at 8 o'clock on NBC. So, yeah, not a lot of great games. We have a lot of games. We don't have, like, we, we don't have a lot of great games this week. We don't have a lot of terrible games. We just have, like, a bunch of eh games. We have a bunch of games that are just, like, eh, whatever. Like, these teams exist. Um... Kind of games, and yeah, we get, we get three legitimately good games between Bills, Cardinals, Seahawks, Rams, and Ravens, Patriots, and then we get one I think garbage game in Washington, Detroit. But everything else after that, um, um, oh wow, five hours. Yeah, last last year, well, because it starts at ten, I think it goes till three. So yeah, it's, it's probably gonna be about five hours. Um, uh, so yeah, pray for me, pray that I get a good night's sleep, and pray that my vocals don't don't you know just oh gosh, I got talk got talk for a long time. Um. I just never had a PS5 yet, although I'm not ready for it yet. No, oh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, hey, Frankie, what's up, Joker? Good to see you. The Mariners have the saddest franchise. Is the Mariners the saddest franchise? I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty... It, they've had their moments. 95, they beat the Yankees. 01, they won like 100 whatever games. Um, but yeah, the Mariners, right now, at least they had Ichiro. These primetime games haven't been it. These primetime games have been pathetic. If you're the NFL here, please just try to get these, these Thursday night games. Look. Um, oh, thank you, World Travel. I, I really do appreciate that. Um, but these primetime games, it, it's... It, I'm tr I'm tr why are they so bad? Well, especially these Thursday night games. We know these Thursday night games, it's short rest. But my gosh, how many of these games are just pathetic football? And we'll watch pathetic football because we like football. We'll take garbage football. We've probably been watching garbage football for 10 years. But we'll watch it anyway because we all love football. And it's not an insult. It's just what we are as a country. We love football. Um, life, liberty, and football. Um, so, yeah, and we'll, we'll keep, we'll, we'll watch it, even though these games are just, ugh, it's, it's just, I don't know, I, I, I would, I would like some better primetime games here in NFL, please, these are your big spectacles, please, let's see it here, Seattle's going to be a good one, for my own sake, pray we have a good game, best of luck, my man, um, uh, but Seattle's a tough team, Seattle coming off a loss, I'd be concerned about that, wait, why are there no CBS 1 o'clock games, because of the Masters, yeah, there's no CBS 1 o'clock games, because of the Masters, which is... Strange, but yeah, you know, obviously. So that's gonna be weird. I'm gonna have to watch. I'll be watching the Masters. I'll be doing the NFL show. I'll be doing a bunch of things on Sunday. Sunday is gonna be a very, uh, very long, very uh, exhausting day. Bauer to the Mets. Watch if they want him. Fine. I'd love him to come to the Yankees, but the Mets have the, the give. And I, I will say this about the Mets. Here's a little baseball thing. Credit to the Mets and Steve Cohen. That was the greatest like owner. It, 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 that was 
pitch perfect what Mets fans wanted to hear. They wanted to hear, we want to win. I don't care about money uh, uh, or I don't care about how much money we make. I've got another job for that. This is about, I don't need this. It's just about when I want to bring a championship to this team, a championship within five years of disappointment. Everything Mets fans have been waiting to hear for 30 years, Stevie Cohen said. So now he's got to make the right decisions here because he can be completely reckless and have no idea what he's doing. But he wants to win. He's given all the indications. I want to win. And let's go. Let's see what, let's see what he does. Hopefully he's not too good because I want the Yankees to win. But you know what? If you're a Mets fan, you got to feel good about him. Uh, I'll pray for you, man. Take some time, bro. Absolutely. And yeah, I'm no no videos tomorrow or Saturday, but I'll be back Sunday. Um, having the Cowboys every primetime game, isn't it, NFL? Well, you know why. They're America's team. You know why. Oh, what's up, Ricardo? I'll get to your comment in just a second. But you know why the Cowboys get that, because they're America's team. They, they get all this attention. Has everyone hit the like button? Thank you. Uh, please give Kershaw his credit. Now, I did. Kershaw is one of the greatest pitchers of all time, and now he's come through in the postseason. He's one of the greatest. Remember when the Bulls were a mediocre team? That was, yeah. Remember when we all thought that, gosh, remember when the Jets were waiting for the Patriots to get out of the AFC East or the Patriots to stop being good so that they could capitalize on that? I have no idea about that Thursday night. It's not an exciting find on Thursday, no. You all see the quadruple doink Cody Park, uh, uh, Park would be so proud. Yeah, oh, I think I, yeah, I think I did, the quadruple. I, I saw that, when was that? It was it, a couple, um, with the quadruple doink. I saw that, what team was that? Um, but I saw that a couple weeks ago, and it was bizarre. It, what, the quadruple doink field goal was bizarre, and my computer slowed down here, so I can't show it. But yeah, the quadruple doink was, yeah, it was rice. It was a game-winning field goal, and it was a quadruple doink. Incredible. That's 2020 right there in a nutshell. The quadruple doink missed field goal. Shout out to Liberty University, by the way, who I know a lot of people that go there. Top 25 team in the country. Holy cow. 2020 is weird. And, um... Rutgers, by the way, Rutgers basketball, number 24 ranked in the country. So shout out to my uh, team that I, that I love uh, dearly. Um, and uh, college, I think college football might be on the on the break here of like completely falling apart because there's a lot of games being suspended and postponed. But they're going to try it here, but man, it, 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 it's a mess right now. Um, we, did, we did not mention his name. I remember watching that with, with my dad. We were watching that game live. And I told him, when Cody Parkey was making the field goal, I'm like, I think he's going to miss this. I think I remember saying, like, I think he's going to miss this. And then he missed it so horrendously. America's team as in losers. Oh, yeah. Of course. Again, they're America's team. They're completely mediocre. <laughs> they're mediocre, and they think they're better than they actually are. Sorry, America. I love America. But, yeah, come on. Um, yeah, exactly. Like, it's, it's just, it's sad. Um, why? We know why they're America's team. Again, they're, they're the most popular team. They're the team that gets the most eyeballs, the most attention. Um, but, you know, it, unfortunately, you know, and again, I, again, I understand why it is, but you know, it, it, I wish the America's team could be better. Bills are America's team. No, it's the, again, it's the Cowboys. Until there's a team that it's bigger in popularity than the Cowboys. Like, look at this. The Patriots, look at that. The Patriots' popularity has gone down. Now they're not good enough. Cowboys' popularity is always going to be high. Because they're the Cowboys, the star, it's the cheerleaders, it's Jerry World. It's their America team. Frankie, you're so cool. Thank you, Traveler. Uh, oh, the America team. People are about the Cowboys being named since 1979. After. But yeah, that was John Facetta. That was in the 70s when the Cowboys were good. They are the Dallas Cowboys, America's team. It all started going downhill after that black punt for the Titans. Yep, that was it. Right then, no, no. Before that, it was the it was the muff punt. It was the it was the bad punt, and then the touchdown by Indianapolis, and then the block punt. That, and then that, that was it. Go pack, go. Yeah, good luck to Green Bay. Good luck to Green Bay this weekend. Uh, Jerry Jones is a clown. We all know that. We all know that. All that you need to know about Jerry Jones. All you need to know. Jerry Jones. The only reason why Jerry Jones is in the Hall of Fame is because of Jimmy Johnson, and he won't honor Jimmy Johnson in the, at the Cowboys Ring of Honor. That's all you need to know about Jerry Jones. A bunch of other things, like the time he, he knelt when he knelt with all of his players and looked right in the camera. That's one of my favorite Jerry Jones moments. When he knelt, when he knelt, when all those guys got together and knelt in solidarity after Trump's comments, and then he looked right at the camera when he did it. Oh, what a moron. Go Texans. Oh, sorry, my baseball girl. Yeah, sorry, Traveler. I know this is, you know, I think if you can't understand it, I'm sorry, but you know, I'm, glad, I'm glad that you're here anyway. Uh, Nick's had the top two, two NBA merge. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, the Knicks are, you know the weird thing is, the Knicks might be the NBA's America's team. It's either the Knicks or the Lakers. It's either the Knicks or the Lakers. It might be the Knicks. I think the Knicks, it's the Mecca. It's Madison Square Garden. But the Knicks have been garbage for 20 years now. The Jets should be sold. Oh, of course. Tom Grossi is just Frankie, but older. I like Tom Grossi. Yeah, if, if we can get Tom Grossi on the show, that'd be amazing. But yeah, obviously, you know. 
I, I, I like him though. I, I want I want to get as many subscribers as him. He's got the 127. We're at you know 5,000. But you know Tom Tom Tom's a solid solid guy. He's enter he's really entertaining. Mike Francesa is Frankie Golda. Uh, let me tell you. Okay, you know, uh, you know, uh, the bottom line is, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of Bobby Ryan, who named Cowboys in American. People are angry and America hates the Cowboys. Well, America, no, America loves the Cowboys. America hates them. They are the biggest national team. In, in like, if it's not in that in that in whatever city is in football, if it's not if it's not the local team, it's the Cowboys. What do you think of Dak next year? They have to bring him back. Um, thank you, Traveler, for the donation. Uh, get your sleep. Um, continue to work, and uh, yeah, God bless you. Hope to see you Sunday. But uh, yeah, take care. And again, we'll have baseball shows back in March. You'll be you'll be able to watch those. But until then, yeah, absolutely. Um, Dak next year, they have to get they have to resign Dak. Dallas has to resign Dak. Um, in the position that they are, look, you see Dallas's Cowboys now. Uh, Dallas's quarterbacks now they're awful. Their quarterbacks now are awful. They have to resign him. And I know that Jerry like doesn't want to pay him, but look, yeah, Derek, J Jerry, you just have to suck it up. You gave Tony Romo God knows how much money. You, you gotta give Dak the money, my man. Give it to him, all right? He's better than whatever option you got left. Dustin Westbrook, wing. oh yeah, what's Westbrook? Okay, thanks. Uh, yeah, Miss Baseball for sure. Um, yeah, Westbrook wanted to get, who? I, so, so Westbrook, Westbrook wanted to leave the Rockets, right? Yes, Westbrook wanted to leave the Rockets. Look. Uh, Russell Westbrook is one of the great NBA players of all time. Um, or, I don't know if he's not. He's not one of the ten, but yeah, he's, he's, he's up there. He's one of the great. He's an MVP. Great guy. But, yeah, he's, 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 I don't get him. I don't understand him. He's, he's crazy. Um, how he, he just wants to get out of every team that he's on. I, I don't know. I mean, I guess he, I guess we all thought, I guess most of us thought, like, would him and Harden not going to work? And... It made it to the conference semifinals, but yeah, after how they got blown out by the Lakers, maybe Westbrook was just like, I gotta, I gotta get out of here. I can't take this anymore. Um, after one year, I'm like, no, we're not gonna be able to win the title, so I don't know. And maybe Daryl Morey leaving uh, was the reason why. Gilbert is the GOAT. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, Brendan Bean is the best GM. I'll take your word for it. Uh, I was surrounded top 10 all No, I said not top 10 all time. I said not. Like, he's a great player. He's one of the greats. But yeah, not, not, not top 10. He, he, he's a great. I mean, he's, again, he's an MVP. Um, I was surrounded by these fair weather bandwagon uh, Cowboys fans. Sorry, man. Sorry. You know, just gotta deal with it. Uh, what's up, David? Good to see you. Uh, see you, Frankie, on Sunday. All right, Niso. See you Sunday. See you for the uh, Master Show. Um, again, very much looking forward to that. Is DK a top ten wide receiver this year? I think so. Wait, if you think. Uh top ten. We fi again, fire Adam Gase. He's obviously a very talented receiver. Um, I don't know if he's top ten. Um, something to think about here. Uh, yeah, yeah, Adam Gase needs to go. Adam Gase, 100%. It has been a disaster there for the Jets. He's been the, one of the worst coaches they've ever had. Um, yeah, it's time for him to go. So anytime I'm um, stressed with a decision like this, I always go to the best place to decide uh, for, for rankings, and that is the Madden ratings page. Honestly, I don't know. It's just something to think. Okay, Madden ratings. Where's from DK? DK right now, DK's ratings are going up in Madden. DK right now is an 87. And he is ranked in the top 20. So they have DK as the top 20. If you want to give him top 10, understandable. But yeah, he's a good receiver there with Seattle. Yes, it's true. Westbrook wants to be traded now, Frankie. Yes, yeah, sorry, David. Um, I don't know if it's... What happened in the last year? Was he just like, I can't coach under Mike D'Antoni? Was he like, I, I, Daryl Moore's gone, I have to go? Did he realize that maybe this, this me and James Harden isn't going to work? What was it? Rockets think good, Westbrook wants to be the main player over Harden, delusional. I mean, look, is there really a main player? I guess, yeah, again, it, it's probably going to be hard, and that's okay. That's okay. I, I guess Westbrook is just like, I want to be the main guy on a team, but it's just like, I don't know, man. Westbrook's great, but I don't know if he can be the number, I don't know if Westbrook can be the number one guy that can lead a team to a championship. I think Harden possibly could. I don't know if Westbrook, I mean, again, Anthony Davis decided, I want to be the second best player on the Lakers, and look what it led him. It led him to a championship. So, I, I, I don't know what the, I, the the NBA draft is next week. I don't know what the Rockets are going to do here. I mean, if, if they want, if Westbrook wants out, then I think they're going to have to listen to his request. But I don't know, has he picked a place as to why? Like, when Anthony Davis wanted out of New Orleans, we all knew that he wanted to go to the Lakers. We all knew that was clear. Um, but does, what, does Westbrook want to go anywhere? He's just like, send me anywhere. I don't want to be here anymore. Um, so, to be honest, I forced myself to watch my night game because I was bored, man, fire. I guess the Jets could have won a game to end the winning season. 
Good news, I barely watched that game. I barely watched that game. But that game, I was like, nope, I'm done. And I only watched the end, mostly the end. And uh, yeah, the, yeah, the case needs to go. That was a winnable game, and you lost it because the Jets are a joke. That's exactly why Westbrook wants to be the main guy on the team. Again, I don't know if I don't know if he's going to be the kind of guy that can lead a team to a championship. He's going to be the number one guy. The closest he ever got was when he was on the Thunder ten years ago, and he was the second best guy on that team. And that was the closest he ever got. I mean, yes, I will say this. I would, as crazy as I think Westbrook is. As selfish as I think he is, as much of a bad team as I think he is, I, I do not question his heart. The guy is a freaking warrior. I'm sorry. Don't mean to PG rated, but like, yeah, the guy is just a warrior. The guy is so tough. The guy just has the heart of a champion. He's just ferocious. Every game. I love that about him. That's something I love about him. I think he goes a little too crazy with that, and he lets the haters get too much into his head, but like, I think he's a great player. But, and yes, if he came to the Knicks, you darn right I would celebrate. He'd be the best player we'd have since Carmelo, I think. Right? Yeah, probably since Carvalho, which is a sad testament. No, Porzingis. I, in terms of, like, somebody actually wanting to come here, Porzingis we drafted, and we didn't know how good Porzingis was until, like, oh my gosh, this guy's really great. And then, of course, we got rid of him because he didn't want to be here anymore because no one wants to be on the stick time team anymore. Are Bucks true last week was it a fluke where they've gotten lucky? I think the Bucks are for real. I think the Bucks are more for real. I am not buy, ready to buy into the Bucks are fraud. The only two bad games I've seen from the Bucks play all year, though, were against the Saints. So that's maybe the thing that you worry about. Less of the Bucks being a fluke and more that they cannot beat the Saints and that they, they, they don't match up well against the Saints. That's more of it. That's something to, I would more. I, I don't see the Bucks as a fluke now. As a Dyer Knicks fan, I don't want Westbrook for many reasons. Oh, good to see you, Max. No, dude, I would take him. Look, again, I know he's selfish. All that. All that. He'd be the best... Player we've had since Porzingis, even maybe Carmelo, I would absolutely take him. Well, if the Rockets have a new coach and the first just get traded, good luck to him then. Yeah, good, absolutely. Good luck to him if, wherever he goes. But yeah, I would, I, I would take him if I'm the Knicks. I mean, look, you're already garbage anyway. The Knicks are already trash anyway. I don't know if there's going to be fans at Madison Square Garden. I'm going to assume no. Um, but it's still the Mecca of basketball. So, yeah, if, 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 I'm, the, if, I'm, the, if I'm the Knicks, yeah, I go for it. Why not? Um... But, I don't know. Again, it's better than whatever option we got left right now. We, we just get to build through the draft, draft again? Just We don't even have that high of a draft pick. So, it, it's just something to keep an eye on right now with the Knicks. But, oh gosh. Eesh. Again, yeah. It, I could see him putting up meaningless stats and up being down by 30. I'd rather have Chris Paul, to be honest. <sighs> I'd rather have Chris Paul. I don't know if I'd rather have Chris Paul now. I feel like, you know, 10 years ago, yes, I would have taken Chris Paul. Now, though, I mean, again, what's your other option? Like, yeah, I, I, I absolutely see that. I can see Westbrook being completely selfish, all that, and, like, are not getting wins. But, like, I don't know. It, it, it's just something to, it's something to keep an eye on right now. Um... I don't know. I'm trying to think. Who's our best player right now in the Knicks? I'm trying to think. Like, yeah, yeah, obviously. Also, where's Chris Paul's... Chris Paul and Westbrook, Westbrook, by the way, have the same NBA 2K rating, which I think is interesting. Who's the best player on the Knicks right now? Mitchell Robinson. Like, yeah, I'd take Westbrook. Or Paul. I'd take either one of them. Was Adam Gase on drugs? If he did, I accuse drugs for doing drugs, especially during halftime. No, I just think he's really bad. Is Dobbin with the MVP if he keeps it up? If he keeps it up, Yes. I don't know if he's going to keep this up. This is an all-time ridiculous pace, what he's put up the last two games. I don't know if he's going to be able to put that up. He's definitely an MVP um, contender, though, right now, a little bit. Um, but yeah, I don't know if he'll be able to keep this up. But if he does keep it up, then yes. Chris Paul is a better teammate. Makes the players around him better. Can't say the same for us. But I agree with you about Paul. I agree with you about Paul. Um, but I don't know if Paul's available. Westbrook might be available. MB the Rockets or just any big man would be great. Yeah, if they want Embiid here, I don't know what Philadelphia's going to do there uh, if Embiid wants to get out. But, uh, yeah, Embiid to the Rockets, I'm sure that'd be nice. Do you think the Heat make a big move this offseason? Uh, I don't know. Are they talking about any move? It's weird to think that, like, it's October and the NBA offseason hasn't even started yet. But, again, COVID. The only other time this happened in my lifetime was um, the lockout. Um, yeah, because I was it, I was one for the first NBA lockout. Did they walk out? 98, 99. No, no, that's right. The year I was born, they had the NBA lockout. And then since then, the 2011 lockout. Uh, and then that happened in November. That was that lockout. I think happened over Thanksgiving. Like over Thanksgiving, we found out that the NBA was coming back. 
and it was the open on Christmas. So, yeah, I don't know if the, he, I don't know if they talks for anybody. I mean, if you want to add one more big guy in there, sure. But I really like the way this team is built right now. I really like the direction they're going. I would, I would keep it the same. But yeah, if you, I mean, and I trust Pat Riley though. I trust Pat Riley to find the, to, to make the right decision. I think the most people go to another team, maybe the Hornets or the Knicks. Uh, both fine, both fine decisions. Either one. Um, again, I'd love for him to come next. Rumors are he may trade Tyler Hero for Drew Holiday, which I would not do. How would I do that? I mean, Tyler Hero is so good. Are you really? I, I don't buy those rumors. I don't buy those rumors. Tyler Hero was a star last year, first year, and you're gonna get rid of him after one year. Like, even for Drew Holiday, I'm like, no. Now, if it was for Le, like to LeBron, then okay, sorry, Tyler Hero. But I, there's I, right now, like, yeah, put Frankie on the Knicks and it, put Frankie on the Knicks and it's chip. No, no. I got a little bit. Of, I got a little bit of a three point game. A little bit of a three point game. But yeah, I'm also I'm also white, um, unathletic, can't jump. I uh, have, have no vertical, so no. I'd probably just be out. I'd be, I'd be the anti Ben Simmons, where Ben Simmons just always goes out to the, always goes to the lane. I would always go out for the three. I'd always just shoot the three and just hope hope one of these t- times it would fall. I mean, you know, yeah, I agree. It would not be much worse than what the Knicks are doing right now. The Knicks are just garbage. Is Travis Kelsey the best tight end right now? I think so. It's either him or Kittle. It's either him or Kittle. Both are great, but yeah, it's, it's either him or Kittle. Yeah, it's Kelsey and Kittle. Those are the two. Um, they're both fantastic. It's yeah, it's hard to, to differentiate the two. But yeah, get, get, either one you, you'll take. Um, either one I would take on the Jets. It does help. Uh, Patrick Mahomes so much that he was able to surround himself early on with so much talent. Imagine Chris Paul going to the Lakers. I mean, yeah, ten years, ten years later, uh, that would be nice. That that would be certainly very, very nice. Um, you add him to LeBron and AD. Obviously, we know how close LeBron and Chris Paul are. I mean, you know, we all, you know, obviously we know about the banana, the banana boat for whatever. LeBron, Paul, Anthony, Wade. And the closest LeBron and Wade played together. The Monte Carmelo happens. Uh, but yeah, that'd be nice to see LeBron and Paul in the season. He hurt though. Yeah, 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 yeah. He is. So, um, when you're the Heat, you can't trade Hero. His youth and potential left through a player, a player that you need in this current NBA style. 100% agree. 100%. You do not get rid of him now. No. Okay, and not for Drew Holiday. I'm sorry, Drew Holiday. No, you don't get rid of him. For, you don't get rid of Hero for Drew Holiday. With all due respect, you, you, you stay. You, you stay with Tyler Hero. You stay with Tyler Hero though. And again, I'm, I'm liking this Heat team. I'm liking this Heat team. Um, so much potential on it. Jimmy Butler's been a perfect addition. They, they, they built together a nice team. They just ran into a much better team. That's all. They ran into a much, much better team in the Lakers. And it's weird to think we are, let's say, November 12th. We're a month and a half away from the season starting. And it looks like they're going to do it back in the regular arenas. Which I'm fine with because you can't keep these players in a bubble. You technically can, but it's not like you're going you're gonna to drive them insane if they're going to be forced to be in a bubble again. So they're going to be in the stadiums, um, which I'm fine with. Um, if you want to have fans, fine. But, like, I would have fans all the way up in the upper seats. I would not have any of them courtside. No, no courtside fans this year. Just eh, all of them upside. I got to go by. See you one day. Uh, all right. See you, Jennifer. Thank you so much. And hope to see you back here soon. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't mind. I don't mind them going back with the um, – I don't mind them going back to the um, – to the, to, the, to the arenas, just because the, the way it's all set up right now, it's just. And you hope that a vaccine is developed, you know, or the vaccine comes out here. What's going to come out here? It looks like next month, and that slowly comes around. Hopefully, these NBA athletes get it. I can see Tyler Hero having a similar game style to Clay Thompson. Yeah, I can see that too. I don't know if he's going to be as good. I mean, Clay Thompson, one of the great three point shooters of all time. We'll see if Tyler Hero can match that. But yeah, both guys are both guys are, are you know really nice uh, three point shooters here. Uh, we're going to get no records, but no NBA records are probably going to be set next year because everything's in a 72-game season, which I'm fine with. Um, also, it's going to end before the Olympics, I think, this NBA season. So, yeah, don't expect the USA national team to be that good this year. Do not expect that. And I'm fine with that. I, I, I honestly I don't care about the Olympics this year. That was weird. I don't know if you guys saw on NBC last weekend. They had the first commercial I've seen, the first commercial for the 2020 Olympics. But they're taking place in 2021. They're still called the 2020 Olympics, but they're taking place. It's like June 21, coming next year, coming in 2021, the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. I'm like, change the date? Like, we're not idiots here. Uh, the Ravens can end the Steelers on their streak on Thanksgiving game night on NBC. None of your business companies. <laughs> um, 
What was the NBC? Uh, never believe your contract. That's the other uh, I see. Um, yeah, that 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 should be that should be good. That should be good there. That's actually because the other two Thursday night games I think are really awful. The other I, I forget what the two Thanksgiving games are. Um, it's gonna be a weird Thanksgiving. I don't know if we're, we may have people over, but it's probably it's not gonna be the normal thing that we have here. Um, hopefully in twenty twenty one again we can have that back. But I don't. Yeah, that's probably. I think the the two other games I, I forget what they are. But yeah, they, they both look like they're gonna be very very boring. So next week, no, it's two weeks. Thanksgiving's two weeks from now. That's right. And the two games are Texans Lions, which is a bore, and Washington Dallas, which while interesting is also probably a bore. And then you have, and then you have Ravens Steelers on Sunday night. Gosh, I cannot finish sentences. Ravens versus the Titans next week. That should be that should be much better. The Ravens have not. The Ravens have taken a step back on offense this year, which is disappointing. Um, but you know, because I, again, I, I like Bal I, I like Baltimore. I like Lamar Jackson. Really like him. And it's been disappointing to see him not. I mean, last year was so amazing that you expected him, I guess, to take a step back. But yeah, you know, it was just disappointing there. Um, the Masters tournament taking place uh, right now. Uh, they're showing it uh, right now on ESPN. Tiger Woods, three shots back. Gosh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping Tiger's in the mix again. I'm telling you, golf is so much better when Tiger Woods is in it. I know it's an obvious statement, but when Tiger Woods is in the mix, there's nothing better in golf. On a Master Sunday, and hoping and praying that this year, not saying he's going to win, but I'm hoping and praying this year that, he, that he's at least in the mix. Uh, congrats to Paul Casey, by the way, who's two shots out um, after day one of the Masters. If you guys have any more comments here, you guys have any more questions? We got about 15 more minutes here, so if you guys have any more comments, please uh, let me know here as we uh, c continue to finish up here. That's what usually happens. Uh, then the Bills and the Colts have to beat the Steelers. Real Steelers hate it for life. That's fine. You, you seem to hate a lot of teams. Steelers hate, Steelers hate the Cowboys. Um, I just want to see. I, I kind of like the idea of one undefeated team, so I'd like to see one team beat the Steelers. Um, and that's just nothing against the Steelers. It's just I, I like the idea of one undefeated football team. Like, only one. And I know the 07 Patriots were undefeated in the regular season, but how did that turn out? So, sounding like Francesca with that obvious Tiger comment. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Thank you, my man. You know, uh, Tiger, when Tiger's in the mix, golf is better. Francesca keeps popping up here. Um, yeah, I know, but I don't know what else to say here. Like, Tiger's done three strokes. He's looking good. Um, and the thing is, and they keep saying, Tiger has not gotten off to good starts at the Masters, so it's so important for him to get that nice start. Uh, here on uh, on Thursday, which yeah. again very nice, and then we'll see uh, what happens Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's so weird seeing nobody there at the call course. It's fine; I actually don't mind it, but it, it is weird just to want to be at the Masters and there's nobody there. I don't think the Stewarts are going to go into field this year. I don't think so either. They're a good team. They're a great team. Um, they, I just don't think they are the number. They are not the number one team. They're not that big team. They're not that big uh, team that we all that we all expect them to be, and that's fine. Um, but you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're a very good team, very good team on offense and defense. I just don't feel like they're the best team in football. I want that undefeated team to be the, best, the obvious best team in football, and I don't think they. I think the, the Chiefs are better. Uh, long live Pope Francesca. Long live him. All right, all right. I am the Pope. Yeah, Francesca keeps popping up on my streams, man. People keep mentioning Francesca. I'm, I'm glad to know. Uh, that was. Um, Wow, that was the fourth uh, bogey-free opening round for Tiger Woods in his major career. And the other three times he did it, he, he either won or finished second. He won twice and finished second. It's Something's cooking here at Augusta. Something smells like it's cooking. I'm sure the odds for Tiger went way up. Also, Larry Mize, who's 62, shot 270. Well done, Larry. Larry won the Masters like 35 years ago. He won it, I think he won it in 87? He won it in 87, right, because he was the one after Jack. So, nice story there. Um, let's see what happens. Um, let's see, a 5008. True, I'm part of the Dallas Cowboys here nation on social media, including on YouTube, plus I'm also part of the Steelers Saving Cup. God bless those people. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that you have found enjoyment in your life out of hating those teams. Really, I'm not being sarcastic. I'm glad, I'm glad that, 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 uh, 
you're able to, you're able to you know, show your true colors there. Again, I don't hate any team. The only the only team except the Red Sox. That's the only team I hate. Other than that, I don't hate the Astros anymore. I don't hate the Eagles. I don't hate the Patriots. They're all teams to me. Uh, I want to see. Again, Paul Casey started off uh, two strokes. Uh, Alexander Scheffel, Webb Simpson, and Justin Thomas. Shuffley all uh, two strokes back. Um, and then you have the rest of the, the bottom nine there. How does Tiger win mistress? I don't know, man. I, I gotta go back and look at that. <laughs> you can decide. Um, I don't dis decide who's hotter. Like, I always, I always just, you know. I don't like to rate women on scales to me. Because women are beyond... I don't like to put women on a number. I think women are more than just numbers. Um, and, you know, it's not just a woman's looks that I find attractive. It's their personality. Because you know, I think it's important. Um, true, haha. Also, long live the Ten Commander Adam Gase. He's truly a leader among men. A game that the Patriots try to lose for only the Jets. Would be great thing. Come back. Yeah, that was bizarre at the end of that game. I'm just like, wow, you gave that game away. And the Patriots couldn't even bother with seven spread. Ah, uh, but... It's it's a joke. It is a joke what the Jets are doing. This is again. It is disgraceful how this team how this team has gotten so progressively bad every year, and especially now. Thank God again. There's no fans because they would boo you out of the building or there'd be none left. Who'd watch this track? He needs to go. He needs to go. Next week the Chargers versus the Jets. Oh my gosh. Uh, I bet at some point I'm going to root for the Jets because like, I, I don't want them to go 0-16, but at the same time, it is so putrid. I'm just like, where's the win coming? If that wasn't your win against the Patriots, where's it coming? That was as easy as when the Patriots are garbage. Or not, not garbage. The Patriots are bad right now. They're reeling. And you, could, and you had them on the ropes and you couldn't beat them. I mean, are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? Gase the worst. The absolute worst. And their stupid owner is the ambassador of England. What a joke. Time for my second dinner. In other words, let's go for seconds. Good night and God bless Frankie G. All right, Grim Phoenix, good to see you. Hope to see you Sunday, man. Uh, we got about, again, seven, eight minutes here in terms of uh, the show. So, again, if you guys want to wrap up here with some more comments, um, they're always, always welcomed. Um, but as, as we look again at this game, nice win for the Colts. The Colts and Titans now have both the same record. As we look here at the AFC standings, uh, if we can, if the computer doesn't freeze again, here it is. AFC standings, here we go. Blah, blah, blah. Da, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's freezing now. Okay, great. Um, trying to see here. Playoffs. Steelers, Chiefs, Bills, Colts, Ravens, Titans, uh, Raiders. That is the top seven right now in the AFC. It's Steelers, it's Chiefs. It's Bills, it's Colts, it's Ravens, it's Titans, it's Raiders. Those are the seven. And then the NFC, Saints, Seahawks, Packers, Eagles, Buccaneers, Cardinals, and Rams. Um, if team wants you to tank, Commander Adam Gase is your man. Yeah, he is He is the commander of the tank. They're just, they're just... The Jets might beat the Chargers because the Chargers are going to choking games away. I mean, yeah, the Chargers keep just blowing games here. Like, nobody's... I mean, that game... Um, I'm trying to have to Google Jocelyn James now. Darn it, you man. But, um... Chargers are, the Chargers are, are good at choking away games. They are able to do it in a way that is... Um, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, Tiger started... Tiger Woods is... Mr. Goodness gracious. Frank, you don't have to simp if, if any are in the chat. Frank. No, no, I honestly don't want to do it. I, uh, no. Women or not, I don't rank. It's just, it's just the proper thing to do. Man, I, I, don't, I don't like to do it. I, you know, I, I have you know, I have more I, I I have more value for women than ranking them by a number. I'm not simping for women. I would not do that. And if I were, I would do it a lot better than whatever the heck I'm doing. <laughs> oh gosh! But uh, yeah. The Chargers, man. How do you keep? How do you even without Phil Rivers, they still find ways to blow games in the most brutal, devastating ways. They still find a way to do it, and it is incredible to watch. Uh, uh, the Chargers have a good young quarterback. Feel bad for him that he plays for them. Yep, yeah, you know I like Herbert. Herbert has shown a lot of talent and a lot of promise. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's you know it's not. Yes, it's, it's not. It, and again, it's just the Chargers. The Chargers are just an awful system team, whatever you want to say. Also, feel bad for Herbert for Matt Ryan. Oh yeah, everybody does. 
Matt Ryan, Matthew Stafford, those guys are just like, these are really talented guys who anywhere else, anywhere else, they would be really, you know, really good, really good quarterbacks, or really dominant quarterbacks. Matt Ryan had a moment, and then it faded away. Same for, Stafford's never had a moment, which is sad, but again, he's on the Lions, and he's just been, he's just been drowning for how many years now? All right, and so we got about uh, five more minutes here. Also, uh, well, this week, the Chargers versus the Dolphins. I'm taking the Dolphins in that one. I mean, again, two nice young quarterbacks, but the Dolphins have a great defense. We've been seeing the Dolphins' defense really uh, shut down opponents here. Uh, so I'm, I'm taking Miami. I just think that they're, I just think they're the better team. And again, their defense is really uh, elite. Uh, again, I'm trying to think what else. Again, we've got five minutes. Oh, I've got a headache now. Overall, again, going back to this game, Tennessee made a couple huge critical mistakes late, um, especially in the third quarter. The two punts were the brutal. The two punts were the brutal uh, way to lose this game. Again, the, the muff punt and then the the, uh, the block punt killed them. They were never able to recover. They were never able to bounce back. And you can't make those mistakes in the NFL. And again, the missed field goal it was just a bad night for Tennessee in terms of mistakes. In the second half, they just did not play like a well-functioning machine. Indianapolis was able to. Again, the special teams did an excellent job. Um, and Philip Rivers had one of his better games here that we've seen. Hines was good. Um, so, again, I don't know where I'm ranking these teams right now. I don't know where I'm looking at both of these teams here as we look at them heading into the end, of the, as we head into the second half of the season. I don't know where I. They're in. They're in the second tier of the AFC. But yeah, do I think that they're going to contend with the Chiefs, with the Ravens, with the Steelers? Probably not, um, but you never know. In the NFL this year, we are we do have a expanded format. It's now fourteen teams, so maybe that adds for a little bit more chaos. Um, only one team gets a buy, uh, which I think that's interesting. Um, so it's again they're, they're they're both second tier they're both second tier teams right now, um, and yeah, it's just about whether or not. Um, can they get into that first tier here? I just don't feel like either team has the talent to be able to do it. Uh, maybe the Colts on defense, but and that, that's just not a knock that gets them. I just feel like that is what it is. Oh, congrats to Philip Rivers on passing Dan Marino, I think, in passing yards. So congrats to him. Um, Rivers obviously has the longevity, the career. It's a different game now. Um, I mean, the offense is again. We, we see just crazy, crazy offensive stats here right now in the NFL. I wonder. People point out, what, how would Dan Marino have played in this NFL? Like, we hear about Dan Marino. How would Dan Marino have played in, like, 2020 NFL? He would have been insane. If he was great back then, imagine how insanely good Marino would have been. He would have been ridiculously good, I feel like, in this NFL. But you can only be born in the time that you're born in. And it was great. He was great. I just feel like he could have been even better. And now in today's game, well, they, they throw the ball even more down the, down the field. So we got about two and a half minutes. So, again, uh, final comments. Let me know. Congrats to the Colts. Terrific victory today as they uh, shut down Tennessee. So just a little thing about what we're going to do here. Nobody here tomorrow. Nobody on Saturday. We'll be back Sunday. We're going to have the Masters live reaction on Sunday. That's going to go from probably 10 to 3. It might go a little bit earlier. Check your local listings. And by local listings, I mean just check my channel here for, you know, whatever, whenever the video will be there. We're going to have that tomorrow. Or we're going to have that Sunday. And please join me there because it's going to be a long show and I need reinforcements. I need people to talk to. Uh, so hopefully you guys will join me on Sunday. Uh, and then, um, we'll have the Every Touchdown video as well. God bless Phil Purpose and his 20 kids. Maybe we'll go to the dump these. Ah! That's an inside joke. That is an inside joke between me and Max. And I really appreciate that, yes. I have not seen the dump in a while. I've got to say hello to them. Um, Brian, if you're watching this, shout out. Uh, big fan. Um, good friends we were. But, the, uh, yeah, you lost my train of thought here. That's my train of thought. Um, yeah, so Master Show Sunday. Join back here. We're going to have a lot to talk about, so join us then. Uh, we're also going to have a, um, an, an the Every Touchdown video that's going to come out on Sunday night. So that's going to be busy because right after my Master Show, I have to start working on that. We have a couple other Masters videos that we're going to work on Sunday. We have an NFL Week nine, uh, week 10 recap that will be on Sunday. Uh, in terms of um, what else, nothing much right now. Again, with, with no real baseball, I don't think we're going to do anything on the NBA draft. Right now, we're just, we're just in a football mood right now. Uh, but you know, if there's you know, if, if I have any ideas, if there's anything out uh, that I want to talk about, uh, they will be there. If there's any breaking news, we'll cover it. So um, lots of things to look forward to here in the next couple of weeks. 
Um, and uh, especially right now here with the footballs, we get into the second half of the season. And stay tuned right here on Frankie G's uh, on the Frankie G YouTube channel because we are going to be covering all of the big sporting events. So that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you uh, all you guys for uh, talking here for an hour. Thank you again to World Traveler for the donation. And again, if you want to send a donation, please, you know, we love to, you know, what do you think of Tony Romo? It's Romo. I think he's awesome. He's a great announcer. He's fantastic. Uh, that's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys. Um, I will see you guys on, uh, on, on, see you guys on Sunday, it looks like, for the Masters show. Take care. God bless. Congratulations to the Colts on a big win as they move to 6-3 and three right now. here. Oh, wait. Phil Rivers and Damian have one thing in common. No Super Bowl wins for you. Well, they just great stats. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair, and that's, that's going to be their biggest, that's the thing that kills them the most. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on Sunday for the Masters live reaction show at around 10 o'clock.